Hey, uh, Ryan here, Yukon Expedition okay. Sleds. Um, we're on a bison trip. We're using our new way 4000 stove. I just want to show you this little box I fabricated up. Um, these little stoves are superior to wood stoves uh, in any temperature um, above minus 30. The only problem is they're a little bit sensitive and you want to protect them because if you if you get to where you're at and the stove vibrates apart that's no good so the first thing i recommend is always pack this as far back in your toboggan as possible that way it gets the least vibration the next thing is you want to secure the stove so that there's no movement so you see here i built it and i put uh, a strip of uhmw here and a strip here and that keeps it tight so nothing can move in any direction um, then the stove pipe. Stove pipe is always a hard thing to handle. So I built a, see a partition here? See the little spacer at the bottom? So that holds this stove from swinging and rattling. And it also creates a space between the stove pipe. This spacer here is screwed into place. So nothing can move. Then at the bottom, I've always got the trusty old kettle. And to protect my stuff that's going to vibrate, like my carbon monoxide detector, the battery that always travels out of it, long matches, um, all that good stuff goes in a padded bag in here. And then this is another sensitive part that you don't want to have rattled around. I tuck that in there. So that's always protected with my carbon monoxide, dete carbon monoxide detector. And I have a little pill bottle full of screws. I always screw my stovepipes together because if it's really windy and you're using this stovepipe, if if the stovepipe comes apart, you you can get carbon monoxide poisoning. So I always have lots of screws so I can screw all the stovepipes together. And the, here's where I put all the screws to hold all the pieces that hold everything in this box in the right spot. Then you don't want to leave you don't want to leave too much space for things to hop around. So you fill up the void space with soft stuff and that'll take out all the vibration. So, so far we've done, well, probably done 2000 kilometers with this box like it is. And uh, I've had one screw rattle loose on the stove, um, solve that. And there hasn't been any issue since. So if you are relying on a new way stove 100% for your um, warm weather travel, I recommend spend the time, build a box and make sure it's very secure. Um, Another guy recommended to me that I, you always pack a spare thermocoupler because if the thermocoupler fails, then you won't get propane in and it's going to be no good for you. So that's probably the, the most sensitive thing. Spare thermocoupler, spare regulator, a um, bunch of extra screws, you should be good. Um, and also, uh, I packed a, a handheld self-igniting torch with me. I always put a bag over the top. Sometimes just the rattling of your skidoo, this little this little uh, handle on the back will come back off. So I put that on there to catch it in case that happens. Um, but in really cold weather, you can use this to uh, preheat the valves. The valves for this new way become really stiff at minus 35. So you can kind of pre preheat the valves with a torch and you're going to have better luck uh, getting the thing going in extreme temperatures. And if all else fails, you can use a torch to light a big bonfire. You put your propane beside the bonfire. You put your stove beside the bonfire. You, you get the temperature of everything up and then you bring the heat into your tent. So um, this is an essential piece of survival gear as far as I'm concerned. And it's a very useful tool for getting this thing going if it's really cold. So Yukon Expedition Sleds, uh, good luck, happy travels.